Hey, Ben Bergeron, CrossFit New England. Uh, I want to talk to you guys about post-workout nutrition. So tomorrow's the start of our Paleo Challenge. That'll be a timely post for some post-workout nutrition stuff. Uh, what we're talking about with post-workout nutrition, first we have a little timing issue. Protein absorption, time, how soon should you have your, uh, your post-workout meal? We like to do it in that 15 minute window. Okay, that's peak protein absorption. Okay, this is zero and this is 60 out here, 60 minutes. It's kind of pennies on the dollar out here. We can optimize our post-workout meal at that 15 minute mark. Okay? That's our post-workout meal timing. Now what are we trying to eat during that post-workout meal? We're trying to get two things, two real important things. We have protein and we have carbs. They're gonna be dependent on the workout. So unlike a lot of people that just kinda of like always the same thing, always the same thing after their workout, or they don't do anything, what we're gonna do is we're gonna determine, the, the, the workout is gonna determine what we're doing. We're always gonna look for 25 to 40 grams of protein, regardless of it's a strength, regardless if it's a Metcon. The carbs are gonna be determined on how long and how intense that workout is, okay? So if it's a four, to eight minute workout, we're gonna look for about 20 to 30 grams of carbs. If it's an eight to 12 minute workout, we're gonna look for um, 30 to 40 grams. If it's a 12 plus minute workout, we're gonna go you know, at 30 plus, depending on how big you are, 40 plus, depending on how big you are, okay? What we're looking for in terms of what we're gonna eat during that time, our protein that we like is a whey protein because it's super absorbable, super easy, you can get it anytime you want. If you wanna go with whole foods, you know, with chicken, fish, or meat, or eggs, or whatever, go for it. We like whey protein, we go with like Progenix type thing, it's an old school bottle, now it's in the bags. Um, but we go with protein, so that's one to two scoops of protein, super easy. Put it in a little shaker, shake it up, and you have your shake. Okay. What we go for carbs is sweet potatoes. You can go with any kind of real source you want. Um, again, what we found to be the most optimal is sweet potatoes. It gets converted, um, it, it doesn't have to go through a conversion in the liver to get converted into the optimal uh, carbohydrate source. It already is that. Um, so you can get your carbs um, from applesauce or um, bananas or chocolate milk, whatever you want. But again, sweet potatoes is what we kind of advocate. The way we do our sweet potatoes is you throw them in the oven for 350 degrees for about 35 minutes. Super easy. Go to Whole Foods, go to the supermarket, wherever you want, cut them into cylinders, throw them on a cookie sheet, sprinkle some cinnamon on them, you're good to go. 35 minutes later, you pull them out and you just throw them in a little baggie. Uh, you can weigh them out if you want, but you know, five or six silver dollars, seven or eight silver dollars, nine silver dollars. That's about the way it works. Okay? Um, other easy way, if you don't want to cook them, like me, go to Whole Foods, they have them, little sweet potato wedges. This right here is about a five, um, five grams of uh, carbohydrate. You know, it gets me my two or three of those, gets me my post-workout, and they're super tasty, uh, post-workout carbs. So throw that together with the protein, and you got it, okay? Peace.